Hello and welcome to Hexed Encountered. My name is Joe. Today I am going to be doing a kind of monthly recap, monthly checkup on the channel. Just kind of an update, I guess, would probably be the best way to say it. Uh, just, you know, kind of what's going on with the channel, how I'm doing analytics-wise, um, you know, what the most popular videos of the last month were, and this would be June of 2023. Uh, today is July 4th, 2023, Independence Day. So if you are watching it on the 4th, I uh, wish all my fellow Americans a happy Independence Day. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to kind of go over it's kind of the numbers, uh, just you know how the channel's doing. Uh, I saw Zilla Blitz do this, so I, I'm stealing it from him. And I told him I was going to do it, and he was okay with it. So just kind of look at you know kind of how things are going, and then also kind of preview what I'm planning or hoping to do this month. I say hump hoping because you know things don't always work out the way you would like them to um so you know to be perfectly honest i'm just this is what i'm hoping to get done this month but first let's take a look at how things are going where we are and then we'll get to where we hope we're going so in the month of june 2023 we had 11,929 views which is about the same uh as it was in may so holding steady that's you know that's always a good thing in uh, terms of watch time we had 1456.9 hours which is again about the same as it was in may so that's again that's a good thing ideally i'd like that going up but you know you can't always have a great month of growth i think is what i'm what i've been learning here i'm only you know a year and a few months into the channel so that is uh, kind of where we are right now. Now, in terms of subscribers, we have we picked up rather 119 new subscribers. So that's 18 percent more than it was in May, which is great. 119 subscribers is is really good, and I'm uh, appreciate appreciative of that. I believe we entered um, July with around 1530 or so, maybe something along those lines. Um, as I'm doing it right now, I have 1551. So that all of that is really, really good. And uh, again, I appreciate the uh, the support from you guys. Now, in terms of the most popular videos, um, starting, I'll just do like the top five, I guess. So the fifth most popular video on my channel in June was the Cyprus play example from the game, the the, the coin four pack. The British Way from GMT Games that got 361 views in June, um, and viewers watched about 25% of the video, so that's good. Um, I like to look at in terms not in terms of time, but in terms of percentage of the entire video that I watched. 25% is actually really good, so I like that. Uh, the fourth is the uh, Fall Vice campaign playthrough day one video from uh, Stuka Leader from Danvers and Games. That one had 378 views and that again is about 25% of the total length of the video was watched, so that's really good as well. Number three, this one surprised me a little bit, um, although this, this particular video has been pretty steady for me, to be honest, and that would be Dead Balls second edition uh, playthrough video. I think it jumped up the charts largely because there was a Kickstarter that got underway in June. Uh, that Kickstarter just wrapped up. It was pr pretty wildly successful, actually, according to uh, W.M. Akers, who is the designer of that game. Uh, he was very pleased with the results. I think it was over twenty thousand dollars or something along those lines. It did. It did really well. That had three hundred and seventy-nine views, which was one more than Stuka Leader <laughs> did uh, in the fourth spot. Number two is a game I was really excited about and continue to be really excited about and I hope this this game does really well so that uh, we can get more in the series uh, which is a new series it is by uh, Herman Lutman and it is called by Iron and Blood the Battle of Kernigretz my first look video for that game did 400 um, sorry 514 views in June uh, only 14% view time so that's not you know great but that's probably about average to slightly above average maybe 
And then, um, again, this the, it's a game system that I really think is great, and I highly recommend you checking it out. It's from White Dog Games. It's not all that expensive to pick up. Um, and, it's, and it's a great system. It's very unique. And as I said, um, I hope it can, you know, garner enough interest that we can get a sequel or two or three or five. <laughs> um, and in the number one spot, and I knew this was I knew this was going to end up in the number one spot because it it actually debuted at the very end of May, and its numbers stayed pretty strong for for my channel at least. Um, I got 693 views of the Palestine solo playthrough for the British way. So again, that's the uh, the coin multi pack uh, de designed by Stephen Rangazis. Um, excellent, excellent um, kind of entry level, I would say, coin game. It's coin stripped down to kind of the bare essentials. Uh, it works. It's got four four games in it covering four uh, basically, I guess, four independence movements, uh, you know, post-World War II as the British Empire began to break up. Uh, it's Palestine, Cyprus, Malaya, and Kenya. And um, all of them well, two of them kind of play one way, and and the two others kind of play another way. But there, there, so there is some similarity within the system. But each one stands alone, and they're all eminently uh, playable and enjoyable, in my opinion. So that was the number one video. Now, in terms of what is coming up in July, so one of the videos that actually came in at number eight with 330 views was an introduction to an upcoming video series where I announced that I was going to do a comparison of various platoon level tactical games. So the four games that I announced that I would be doing would were um, Panzer Grenadier, and I've done a first look video for the game Fire in the Step, which is basically Operation Barbarossa in Ukraine. So June, uh, early July, late June, early July 41, obviously Germans versus the Soviet Union. Uh, and that's a common theme because the second game, or it may not be, it may not end up being second in terms of when I do it, but the second game that's going to be uh, covering a similar topic would be Paths to Hell, which is Operation Barbarossa, June to December '41. This one is from the War Storm series and is published by Compass Games. And then I also am going to take a look at. Uh, Lock and Load Publishing's Nations at War series, and specifically the Stalin's Triumph game, which is about the Battle of Kursk, which was obviously a very uh, big battle. I'll be doing that game as well as taking another look at Platoon Commander Deluxe from Flying Pig Games. That is also a Kursk game. So those two will kind of go hand in hand, apples to apples kind of comparison, whereas the two Barbarossa games will do the same. But that particular campaign, ultimately all four of them will be compared against each of the others. And I'm strongly considering adding Fighting Formations, Gross Deutschland, from GMT Games and Chad Jensen to that mix, as well as uh, the Gamers Multiman Publishing's uh, GD42. Both of those games deal with the, uh, the Gross Deutschland division, as it was at that particular time. That started as a regiment at the beginning of the war, and by the end of the war was a Panzer Corps, I believe. So, uh, the, the Gross Deutschland, that is. So those are, the, those are the potentially six games. There will definitely be four, probably will be six, and I will be working on that this month. There will be further entries in this month. As I mentioned, I've already done the uh, first look at... Um, fire in the step so if you want to check that out I do recommend it it's going to be uh, going to be a lot of fun and then the other ones as well and then other things I'll be looking at will include Western Front Ace from Compass as well that is the latest from Gregory A. Smith and covers as you might guess from the name the First World War uh, from the from the viewpoint of pilots this would be again a standard kind of narrative type game which is kind of, you know, in the vein of some of the other things that Gregory Smith's done, such as The Hunters, The Hunted, Silent Victory, uh, American Tank Ace, which I, which I really enjoy, and was his most recent one before this, I believe. So um, that one I'll probably have a first look video up in the next few days. That's, that's pretty much on the front burner right now, along with my platoon 
series videos. Um, Sports-wise, there will be more OOTP stuff. I am trying to find time to do something on a couple of different basketball games, possibly some soccer stuff, possibly some football stuff. Um, that's all things that I may get to in July. I am hoping to get to in July. And then we also have some things that I received recently from uh, GMT Games that I would like to, to take a look at. Uh, Mr. President, the big solitaire uh, release designed by Gene Billingsley that will be on the docket almost almost certainly will happen in July as well as Barracks Emperors and Border Reavers as well um, I received all of those I'd also like to get combat from Compass Games to the table I recently received my um, updated maps for combat for volume 1 because I had the old maps and the new maps that came out with Volume 2 are very much improved. Um, the readability is much better. They just look better. So I am hoping to get that too. That will do it. I appreciate you guys taking your time to, uh, to check in with the channel, get a status update on what's going on, where we, where we were last month, where we're going this month, hopefully. So as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Please, uh, you know, the, the usual spiel. Consider liking, sharing, and or subscribing if you are a subscriber. Thank you very much. But until next time, my name is Joe. This has been Hexed Encountered, and happy gaming, my friends.